Hang on a second there, gang. Before we get the show started, the Keep It Moving 2021 tour is in full swing, as you know. Yeah. We have some additions. Sure. We have some announcements. Mm -hmm. Kippy, straighten them out. Guys, we're coming to Providence, Rhode Island, August 11th. Uh, we're going to be in Boston, Massachusetts, August 12th. Shalink We're going to be in New Brunswick, New Jersey, August 25th. Jersey. Stress Factory. We're going to be in Timonium, Maryland, outside Baltimore at Magoobies uh -oh. on August 26th. Then the big thing, Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Look out. We're going to be there. At the fest. At the fest. A couple of festy boys. There you go. Uh, that's going to be at the end of September on September 23rd, 24th, 25th. Also, another big announcement. We're going to be at Skank Fest <laughs> in Houston. Uh, that's going to be no November 5th, 6th, 7th. Plus, we're going to be adding more dates. It's going to be Bonkos. Get some tickies. It's going to be a good time. Can't wait to see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back uh, to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. We're down here at Antody's basement. I don't even want to get into it with you <laughs> okay. about what she's up to. Yeah. So we'll save it for off the air, but we have to have a little discussion. I can't wait. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the brains behind the operation. He's really an international businessman. He's kind of the head bozo around here. So do me a favor. Make me look good. Show him a little respect. Give it up for Kevin James. Ryan, everybody. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to the roof. True to the roof. They're fucking cooking. And then Patreon.com is... I mean, that's where the real fucking magic's happening. Mm -hmm. that can, that, that's cooking with gas over there. Oh, yeah. It's making a couple of shekels. A couple of bucks in our pockets. So check that out. You get bonus <laughs> episodes, bonus content, live streams, the whole fucking nine yards. A bunch of videos. Check it out. Very nice. And how about a nice shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire. He's the magic man. He makes us all look good. Give it up for T Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? What's up, T Bone? Nothing. Me and Hank been carpooling. <laughs> uh. This dude is a psycho. Yeah. Only guy I know who stops at green lights. To, for our protection, okay? <laughs> Friday night when you're leaving the city after doing spots, these maniacs are fucking driving around out there. So I make sure no one's going to come through and fucking to crush us. Not going out now. Things are good. I'm in the passenger seat with a pillow on my lap, so I'll <laughs> smash my head on the dash. Yeah, it's a tough ride. Gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly, special guest here with us today for the first time. She's one of the stars over there at Barstool Sports. Pretty big deal. She's Everybody big loves deal. her. We love her. She is the co-host of Because We Got High and, of course, Chicks in the Office. But the big question in everybody's mind today, is she garbage? Now, we know there's a Long Island pedigree in there. I can tell by the gold chains. Man. And I don't <laughs> I don't have my... No, you came in like... <laughs> you came in like Funkmaster <laughs> Flex. Jesus yeah. Christ. Fucking Carmela Soprano over here. <laughs> Gang, I don't have my numbers in front of me, but all signs point to trash. <laughs> Telling you right there. Give me a nice big round of applause for Maria Chivo. Yeah. You nailed it. Nailed you it. got it. What's fucking up, guys? Killed it. Thanks Thank for you coming. for having me. I mean, you guys are great hosts, by the way. Uh, Thank what thanks. a fucking intro. We I feel really pumped ham it up. to be here. Yeah. <laughs> the whole time. I don't know if you saw me, but right before I said T Bone, I was mouthing that. I don't know why this one got me so nervous. Yeah, with the last name. Last name. The yeah. last name. Because yeah. you don't usually rock that. You're like Madonna at this just point. Rhea. Yeah. Just Rhea. Just Rhea. Yes. Which is pretty cool. Oh, I mean, it's just not a good last name. True. At all. a tough one. It's it's just not uh, there's nothing to it. It's but not pulling like you that, hear... sorry, pulling that single name Rhea is pretty. That's a pretty cool. That's like yeah. a pop star. Thing. I wish I could just get the Instagram to just be Rhea, but it's like my full name. Yeah. Yeah. It's very confusing. Who has? Is there a Rhea? I think there is. Yeah, yeah there's gotta be. There's gotta. If be. You An artist it, or you... just some bozo? No, I think some sort of artist. Yeah, some if sort. you could get a three character Instagram handle, that's, that's like Power. dude, just three, <laughs> just R I A. And that Come would on. really elevate me. Like I think the Maria Chiffo is what's stopping me. But <laughs> kids, a pop icon. Let's put her around. All right, I'm she's young. She's star. cool. <laughs> yeah. Look at the chains. Give us the the full backstory. And as we said before, we talked a little bit mm -hmm. at Friday Night Pints, but we really didn't get into it. Um. 
Give us the whole deal. Long Island, the whole nine. Yes. Long Island, born and raised. You want to know where I was born on Long Island? 100% we do. Winthrop Hospital. Ooh, she gave us the hospital. Sounds fancy, Because I'll be honest, I don't know what town that's in. (laughs) So I just wanted to give the hospital name. Who the fuck (laughs) knows what hospital? I, I, I don't know. I just wanted to throw that out there. Just in case, because you know, people know, like, they know that the hospital Justin Bieber was born at. So maybe if I have a super fan out there, oh, they'll be like, oh, Rhea was born at Winthrop Hospital. Wow. Yeah. Give that to them. That's pretty good. Um, lived on Long Island my whole life. Where basically. in Long Island? Which, uh, Seaford, there's, Nassau County. Nassau. Because there's two counties, yes. right? Or there's the Suffolk good, and Nassau. Well, it's the trashy one. I, see, I would say Suffolk, but then somebody from Suffolk would say yeah. Nassau. Which one's the Hamptons in? I think Suffolk. Yeah, yeah. so Nassau is the trash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to answer that one. I also am not good at geography, so you're asking me questions. Which one? Like. <laughs> geography. Jesus Christ, it's an island. <laughs> it's the county you grew up in. Well, I, yeah, born and raised there, went to Catholic school my whole life. Oh, so nice. is, that, is that nice or? It depend. It, it can go either way, I it think. But it's, it is technically a private school. So All girls good. Catholic school? No. Boys both. and girls. Boys and girls. Okay. All right. Parents together. I have an older brother and older sister. Mm -hmm. And it's really just as like Italian as it gets. Yeah. Like, there's nothing else to the mix besides Just Italians. straight, just, Long Island, just Italian, Long Island, Guidos. Italian. See, here's the thing, though. I wouldn't describe my family as Guidos, okay. but if you met them, sure, of course. you would probably describe them as Guidos. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're dripping in gold. Right? I yeah, I, you, you I know. Have and three I actually, on. I got my first car last week, which is a Mercedes. What? Oh. I sent everyone a picture of it, and they were like, you're just in the mob. Like, yeah. you're a mob wife Is now. it pink? No, it's, it's black. White. It's oh. all black. Really? Black Murdered on the outside, out. like black it. in the inside. Yeah. You just picked up a Benz? I just picked up a Benz. She does all right. Damn. Yeah. Is there Look any is it. there anyone in your family named Anthony that you refer to as Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> is there any ants in your family? People. There's there's a ton of Anthony's, but I'll tell you this. This will shock you. We do not call them Tony. Really? And it stayed as Anthony. It stays as Anthony. Yeah. Respectable. A lot of Michaels, Franks, of course, Anthony's, and then it kind of you know. Yeah. Do you goes do the crazy? Do Maria's do the, very old school. Yeah, Mar- old school. Maria. Yeah. yeah. My mom's name is Rosaria. So. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Get the meatballs going. Oh, wait. And her dad? Her dad's name is Jayakino. Holy oh. shit. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. That's like real Guinea shit. Jeez. That's real New York oh, Guinea yeah. shit. Jayakino. Oh, yeah. Woo. That guy knows how to grow San Marzano peppers and pay it out. Tomatoes. Damn. Does so, it right. Holy shit. Your mom and dad aren't from Italy, though, right? No, they're not. But, Are they born um, and raised Long Island? E- well, my... My mom. <laughs> it's like a Billy Joel song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my dad, born and raised Long Island, Elmont. My mom lived in Queens or Brooklyn. Okay. And then Valley Stream, which is just, if you're from Long Island, these you know. are very Italian areas. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what we're much. talking about. The stream's oh. marinara sauce, just so everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good red sauce. <laughs> Get it right from the stream. Uh, what did your parents do growing up? My dad. It's in the Union Insulation. Nice. Shout out to the Insulators yeah, Union. The Insulators yeah. Union. In air Benny's. quotes. Yeah. Local 12. Yeah. <laughs> he had a no-show job. Shout out to Local 12. I like it. She and doesn't know the neighborhood she grew up in, but she knows the local yeah, number. Yeah, that's who pays the fucking bills. <laughs> you know the local number. My dad's going to be like, why are you giving out like our social security <laughs> on the podcast? Now I got to whack these two. <laughs> I kind of like the fat one, but I got to do what I got to do. My uh, mom was a uh, orthotech. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I Pretty, like that's that. Blue collar, love it. And you didn't go to you did you didn't go to college, right? So I went to college, kind of, not really. Like I did a semester, <laughs> kind did, of, not really. I did a semester <laughs> at Pace University in okay. the city uh-huh. for film. Dropped out of there. Then I was a pharmacy tech. Okay. And then I went to FIT. Okay. And then I started working at Barcelona and FIT at the same time, and then I dropped out of FIT. Yeah. Of course. It's a smart yeah. move at that point. Yes. Yeah. I, there was no reason for me to stay there any longer. Right. What did you want to do at FIT? Well, was okay. that just- so now I'm going to dive. I'm really going to dive into my life now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you want? Let's go. I was a, like a child model actress starting from when I was eight years old. Okay. So- in and out of the city four times a week, my dad would drive me. He'd, he'd literally drive into the city at 4 a.m., then he would get home at around, he's like fucking in and out. He'd get home like any time between 10 and 12 every day. Get home, pick me out of school, drive me to the city for auditions, acting class, whatever it is. I did that from 
when I was eight years old up until like the middle of high school. You were in and out of class? Like they would take- Oh, the people in school, first of all, my parents were like, don't tell anybody like kids are like really mean. They're going to be really mean to you if they know. So for a really long time, I didn't tell any of my friends. I thought at school. you were like dying. Or they something. thought I was so sick. Yeah, like, of they, course. <laughs> even the teachers thought I was really sick. And one day they were like, they talked to my parents. Were like, what? What's going on with her? And that's when the doors opened. My parents put in. I remember this. You know, like one of those uh, envelopes, the yellow, mm-hmm. yellow the, folders. Yeah, the Manila folder. They like yeah. put in all like like uh, catalogs that I did and like my comp cards, my headshots, and they were like. Just bring this in and give it to one of your teachers. And Slide I just, it across like you're I doing a deal. I remember going into into class one day and was like, my dad told me to give this to you. And then from that point on, the teachers knew and then none of the kids knew. And then one of uh, a kid at school, parents saw me on the side of a bus. I actually have the picture on my phone. Nice. Saw me on the side of a bus, called my house and they were like, uh, do you guys know that they're using Maria's picture on the side of a bus? <laughs> and then my you parents get good were money like, for that. "Yeah." My parents were like, "We just have to tell everyone." They thought I was like Hannah Montana at the time. It was Jeez, a huge deal. That's awesome. What yeah. kind of brands were you? Was it like print work or like yeah, like what was... Kohl's, Target, yeah. Sears, like all that stuff? And then I I, I auditioned for like a ton of TV shows and movies, like just endless. Yeah. I can't imagine from what you're telling me. Seeing your dad as like a stage dad. My dad is literally Chris Jenner. I'm not joking. That's like, really crazy. Ultimate stage dad. Ultimate stage dad. You don't really. I don't really. The guys at the local know about yeah. this. Oh yeah. That's... About his beautiful baby angel. <laughs> 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 that Maria. She's a beautiful child. She belongs in movies. That Maria. She's gonna be a star. I'm telling you right now. I just, Amy. <laughs> she's gonna be a star. I picture them all sitting at the shop, like pulling for. They're all know, got the Coles catalog. Out. My whole life, all I heard growing up was that like I was gonna be. The breadwinner of the family. They were like, "She's our way out. Yeah. Like, she's our way." Still to this way day, way out of where? Just Long, Long Island, Island. <laughs> Nassau, like, to something. Yeah, Nassau County. It's not that bad. It's no, not, it's really not. It's not serious. I actually had a great life. It's <laughs> so funny. She's our way out. That oh, is a Billy Joel song. Yeah. You know, Anthony down at the Union's got a good-looking daughter. Did He's you ever famous. hit like a? Did you ever hit like a huge payday? Well, so actually, this is kind of a crazy story. I did like a, a lot of print work, which is sure. is cool, whatever. Sure. But I you really, were working. As yeah, an actor. I want no. I was working more as like a model, okay. but I like as a child model. And I actually, side note, <laughs> one of the sickest things was as a child model. Sometimes you do just like fit modeling, where they don't even take pictures of you. You go in and you try on like fifty pairs of jeans. It takes like I don't know half an hour to an hour, like thousands of dollars. That's awesome. Jeez. That's it. Like just I showed up one day for fifteen minutes and just. Like a thousand dollars. Damn. Damn. So it was crazy. But I could get it. Obviously on that. wanted to be an actor way more. Right. Tons of auditions and movies. You're always being told, like, you get so close, and then they're like, Oh, this is the reason why you didn't get this. This is oh literally your name's too Italian. Like that's yeah. those are things I would get. <laughs> Lose the gold I, chain, yeah. you're eight. <laughs> 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 they always used to tell my manager, they were like, Her face looks so old, but her body looks so young. Like, just like, it was was very, it was crazy. And I went into an audition one day, walked out, and I was like, I said to my parents, I was like, I nailed that. If I don't get this, I am done. I am not doing this anymore. Kid you not, the next day, my manager calls, and they're like, she got the part. I told you guys, I nailed this. Because I went to a private Catholic school, the way that this system works was so fucked up. We had these things called comps and they work as like at the end of the year, they count as 50% of your grade and you take it for every subject. And it's like six days in a row of tests. Okay. You can literally get 90s all year. You fail that test, it drops it all the way. It's 50% of your grade. The filming started in the middle of when these tests were. My dad called up the school and, and he explained the situation and was like, listen, like she's she got a part, like she's got a film. Is she there, got a movie. Yeah, is there any way around this? And they were like, well, she's going to have to go to summer school if she doesn't do the test. And my dad was like, well, uh, she can't go to summer school. Like I said, my daughter she's will got be a big filming. Role, yeah. And they were like, well, <laughs> she's going to have to go to public school. And that's when I was like, dad, no, I can't go to public school. It was, I was ninth grade. I just made all my friends sure, in school. Sure, of course. I really was focused on, after years of doing this, I was just like, I just want to sure. fucking hang out with my friend's party. So I gave it up and I, I didn't do it. It was Walked a movie. away from the role. Yeah, the contest, Cartoon Network. You could look it up. And I didn't do it. But- I think Did you I say made, Cartoon Network? Yeah, it was a Cartoon Network movie. I was hoping for like Avatar. Yeah, or no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, no, okay, yeah. it wasn't that cool, but sure. it was pretty. So fucking you walked cool. away from Star Wars or something like that. <laughs> it was still some cool, Seth Green side project. I mean, I this piece of shit's got me. a five point five on IMDb. I don't think you missed out that bad. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm doing okay now. <laughs> yeah, but at the time, 
you give that up and oh, you're like, oh, fuck. I mean, I just for. like threw it all away. But that's crazy. Yeah. That's a different kind of life, man. As a kid. As a kid. I, I mean, have lived a wild life for a 23 year old. Did you want to? Did you? <laughs> it's crazy. Did you want to do that when you were a kid? Yes. So you're the one that wanted to be an yeah. actor. I like begged my parents. I was like, this is what I want to do. And then my dad did a lot of research because there's a lot of scammers out there. You know, you yeah, sign up, weird. they make you pay. One thing we learn is you never pay for anything. Of course, you never pay. You only get paid. Yeah. That's my dad. We don't pay for anything. You only <laughs> get paid. I ain't paying for a fucking picture. <laughs> yeah. No, you you only get paid. And, and it, <laughs> I never was give them nothing. signed to like some of the greatest agencies. I went on some of the coolest auditions. It was awesome. That's so sick. Yeah. What, was it, what did you think was the coolest audition you went my on? My first audition ever. Is, I wouldn't say it's the coolest, but my first audition ever was to play young Angelina Jolie in Salt. Movie salt. Oh, Damn. Yeah, there was only eight girls who auditioned. And to be honest, I don't look like her. As a kid, like I wouldn't say I looked like her, but maybe like what yeah. you can whatever. Mm-hmm. The girl who got the part looked absolutely nothing like yeah, her. It was yeah, crazy. So, yeah. But with the makeup and stuff, it's it's whatever. Sure. But that was my first audition ever. That's hmm. nuts because I couldn't imagine I mean, we're you know, we're trying to manage comedy and show business as adults and it's yeah. fuck I couldn't imagine like not getting auditions as a kid. I'd be fucking losing yeah, I, my so mind. I thought Growing up, I was like, "Oh, I have no issues from this," because you know the child actors talk all the time, like <laughs> yeah. oh, about the, the rejection is so hard. And I was like, oh, "I grew up fine." Oh, it 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 hit me for sure. Like, the insecurities yeah. really yeah. hit me, it, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's crazy to be able to try to navigate that as yeah. a kid. I mean, we still have to make sure that Foley gets his juice box, or it gets real cranky. <laughs> 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 I need my cheese stick promptly at noon, otherwise I lose it. How much of a north? How, so this was ninety percent of your childhood. Yes, if but this ended in freshman year of high school. Yeah, but a majority of my ch- it was normal because I wasn't fucking booking anything. So yeah, I was yeah, just yeah, going yeah. on all these auditions, <laughs> but I was still going home. I'll be back for the second half of soccer practice. Yeah. I like how hard you are on yourself. You're like, yeah. I wasn't booking nothing. I was fucking blowing it. So it didn't matter anyway. I mean, you just get so close, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. I love it. Yeah. First child star we've had in here. First child star. I wouldn't even put star on it. Whatever. <laughs> that's what we're using. Aspiring to child star. <laughs> she was almost in uh, uh, salt. What's it called? Salt. She was almost in salt. I, I, I'm i trying to think of some of the movies that I auditioned for. Remember the movie Vacation? They did the new one. Oh, sure. The new Vacation. The new, yes. That one with the, the little the kid meets a girl. Who yeah, were you reading yeah. for? The girl that the little kid meets. Really? Yeah. And Damn. then I auditioned to play Jason Sudeikis' his daughter for Mother's Day. That's like big child big role. Stuff. No, no. There were... Uh, all the time, my my manager and agents did not let me audition for anything less than like a prominent speaking role because Damn. she said that if you do extra work, you can never be in that show. Yeah, again, again. Yeah. Sure, so yeah. I wasn't allowed to do anything but audition for like those types of roles. Oh man, I could see your mom and dad back in the day. With my all mom, that my mom, it. not at all. My mom was not involved really at all. Like she would. My parents are like this. Like they do everything together. So my mom would come. But she is not a stage parent at all. Like once, so really weird that your care. dad was the no, insulator. The pu- <laughs> oh, you know, my so dad crazy. is like a drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget jazz hands either. <laughs> my my dad would tell me this is fucked up. My dad would tell me to cry before auditions because I have hazel eyes and they look greener when I cry. Oh, this guy's bonkos. Oh, this guy's <laughs> psycho. <laughs> what Jesus the fuck? Christ. They look greener. I never yep. heard that. Mm-hmm. Did, he, did he ever try to put the screws in his casting directors? Like, hey, if you want this duck work done in this building <laughs> yeah. ever again. I'm checking these pipes. It ain't up to code. I have a couple people come down here, start asking some questions. Get a girl to part, will you? <laughs> Give it a part. She's got hazel eyes. Give it you a part. You get me Angelina Jolie on the phone right now. I'll talk to her. Okay? That's what a wild dynamic. That is. Yeah. It's cuckoo. Gang, let's talk about movement. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool stuff. Yep. A couple of college dropouts got together. They created this insane watch company. Yeah. All right. With fantastic designs. Mm-hmm. Good pricing. The best. Then they moved on to sunglasses. Now they're killing it. They're doing everything. 160 baby. countries Ooh. you can get movement products shipped to. And right now, they got a 28% off sale going for their eight year anniversary. Every single thing on their website, mm-hmm. 28% off. Sunglasses, jewelry, watches, you name it, they got it, and they are fantastic. Yeah, they sent us a pair of shades. Foley got a new watch. I got a pretty cool watch coming in. If it's a blue one, Foley's a watch guy. I'm now a new shade guy. Everybody yeah. knows that. 
So we each got it. It's perfect. Like, you look cool. You feel cool. It's good quality material. Good stuff. Everything's easy peasy. You look a little different. It's a little different than what everybody else has. Sharp. It's nice. They know what they're doing. It's quality uh, modern watches for a fair price. Super durable sunglasses with UV rated polarized lens and timeless styles, baby. I like You're it. not walking around looking like a bozo. You're coming correct when you're using movement. It's the perfect gift for friends, family, whoever, a loved one. Um, feel like, cool. We're in the movement family. I know. Uh, like Foley said, movement is going out, uh, going all out for their eighth birthday. It's their, their eighth birthday. It's the biggest sale of the year. Take advantage of these price points before they go. Celebrate eight years of movement with 28% off statewide don't miss the biggest sale of the year. Go to MVMT.com slash garbage to enjoy the 28% off. One more time, 28% off statewide. MVMT.com slash garbage and join the move. Support for this podcast is brought to you by our good friends at Anscaped. We got them and we love them. The best in the biz. You got to keep it clean downstairs. And they've really perfected the instrument to do that. Because you could go out and just get a regular trimmer, but you don't know what's going on. No. Manscaped, quiet, Shh. powerful motor in it. Mm -hmm. Get it wet. You can use it in the shower. has a light so you can see where you're going. We're talking a top shelf yeah. product here. Yeah, guys, this thing's cooking. I, you know, I got to admit, I used to be a bozo. I used to shave with blade and cream. Jesus. Putting your life in your hands down there. Oh my God. I, I might not be able to have kids again. Are you one of the founding fathers? <laughs> <laughs> That's how George Washington died. <laughs> but now with the Manscaped Lawn, per, Lawn Mower 4.0, one more time, baby. That's the Lawn Mower 4.0, the oh, yeah. fourth generation trimmer. They're just making it better and better. Just when you think it can't get do. any better, they got the guys in the lab with the pen and the pad yeah. making it better, baby. Uh, I mean, the craftsmanship. Uh, we were one of the first people to try it, and I got to tell you, I mean, I'm clean as a whistle down there. Fantastic. And especially in the summer. It helps with the heat, helps with the chafing, the whole nine yards. Um, they've engineered the ultimate groin and body trimmer by focusing on intelligent functionality and incredible comfort for the grooming experience. Uh, the upgraded trimmer includes a multifunction on and off switch that can engage a travel lock. Hmm. It gives you the ability to turn the 4,000K LED spotlight on and off when you need more precise shave. Really? Bam, bam. Dude, Zings out. So you're not flying blind down there. You know what I mean? You got to get, get eyes on this subject. I like it. Who's got eyes on the little guy? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a bunny in the weeds. Yeah, the lawnmower 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim through additional guard lengths with widths, width sizes one through four. So maybe you want, you know... A little bit longer, maybe a little shorter, maybe, you know, you get to choose. You get to style whatever you want to do. Do you. Um, and if you're using the same trimmer for your face you are for your ball bag, you're messing you're gross. up. That's yeah, what disgusting. are we doing? That's how you get that's how you get ringworm or something. Yeah. Uh, Plus this thing, you can't even hear when it's on. No. And it's humming. You could do it in a bed when my girl will sleep oh, right through it. It's nice. Uh so guys get twenty percent off and free shipping with promo code garbage at manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off. With free shipping at manscaped.com. Use promo code GARBAGE. Unlock your confidence, and you will always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Stamps.com, gang. Stamps.com. I'll say it again. One more time. I'm not afraid to. No. Stamps.com. Yeah. Get on it. Use it. We love it. You're going to love it. Bingo. Bingo. Because <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, it's the summer. You don't want to be wasting time in the post office. No. Because last year, you were stuck inside. Now you don't want to have your freedom, and then you got to go to the post office and do this, do that. Just use stamps.com, man. I know we got a lot of small business owners out there. We use it. It's unbelievable. It saves you time. You get good rates from USPS and UPS, mm -hmm. and they send you everything that you need to get started. Yeah, guys, they sent us a package. We, we mailed out all the cards and you know the merch that way. It's easy peasy. They send it to you. All you need is a computer. The printer, the roll, the stickers, bada bing, bada boom. You slap, print it out. You slap it on. All you need is internet and a computer. It's you fantastic. can do this in the home, office, car, whatever, RV, camper, trailer park, wherever you are, you can do this. It's we easy. printed the labels, packaged them all up, knocked them all out. We had them in a bunch of bags. We walked right down to the post office, dumped them right in there. We were in and out in two seconds. Want to hear something you. even better? Tell me, Kippy. You can do it. You can you can schedule a pickup so they come and do all the heavy lifting for you. Ooh. We just did it because it's right next door, so it's easy peasy. Plus, I need my cardio. Plus, the big man's got to get his cardio, guys. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving nearly 1 million small business owners like you time and money. Uh, you can save up to 40% off of USPS, 66% off UPS shipping rates. What are we doing here? And with the save and switch feature, you can quickly compare carriers to find the best rates at the best time. Uh, stop wasting time by going to the post 
post office. Go to stamps.com and said, uh, there's no risk. With our promo code GARBAGE, you get a special a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments. Tell them to kick rocks if you don't like it, but you're going to love it. That's right. Uh, stamps.com. Click the microphone at the top of the homepage. Type in GARBAGE. at stamps.com. Promo code GARBAGE. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. Now back to the show. That's fucking crazy. All right. Want to get into some... Some questions I, here? I believe we shall. Okay. Play Let's a little Are You Garbage. So the Long Island. Nassau County. Nassau County. Not Suffolk. Uh, what was the name of the supermarket your family went to growing up? And or now? Uh, Wallbounds, but then it's changed to Stop and Shop. Wallbounds. That sounds fancy. Wallbounds. Wallbounds. I don't know. Anything with a name is pretty good, I feel. Wallbounds? What do you mean anything with a name? Isn't any grocery store? No, what I mean, like, that's somebody's name. Like, that was, all so bounds? Yeah, well, there's not a John's Stop be, and Shop. Yeah, there's not a... <laughs> <laughs> there's for sure a Steve Wallbounds or yeah. something. That's a last There's a Wallbounds family that's collecting checks every week. Stop and Shop, that's, that's middle of the road, though. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Do your parents still live in the same house you grew up in? Yes. All right, so we can't ask for the name of the street. We like to ask for the name of the street yeah. that you grew up on because that can determine a drive, a, mm. you know, a drive, a circle... Was it a cul-de-sac? What was, yeah, what was no, the last? No, we see, we did talk about this. I didn't know what a cul-de-sac was when oh, you guys came in. That's it's right. not a cul-de-sac. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that much. <laughs> it's trash. Not knowing what a cul-de-sac is. <laughs> Any summer camps in I your childhood? I didn't do summer camps. Okay. Hmm. All right. You ever go for the plus model on an iPhone? Get the big one? Now I do. You yeah. do? Yeah. Oh, that's trash. I'm a plus guy. Uh, like, oh, oh, plus? Like, no, 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 pro. Sorry. Pro. Oh, okay. Sorry, not plus. All right. Okay. Mm. I like it. Did you have a sweet 16? No, I didn't have a sweet 16, but we went to Punta Cana for my, for my sweet 16. Who did? My family and I. Punta Cana? <laughs> what the fuck? It was an all-inclusive resort. That's like hedonism or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Wow. Your parents took you to Sandals? <laughs> Listen, you can have a party with your friends and we can go get drunk in the Dominican. Well, what do you want to do? That's exactly what it was. They sold it to me. They were like, we're going to spend all this money on one night or one week. And I was like, that well, is trash that logic is and garbage. I love it. That's what I have, too. Yeah, I mean, it was they a no brainer decision for me. Yeah. They just wanted to go down there and get weird for a couple of days. <laughs> you guys are sitting in the hotel with for pizzas sure. while watching. For sure. Were you sneaking booze at 16 when you were down there? Uh, not sneaking. Like, I was allowed to drink. Oh, I'm, the, I'm okay. the youngest child. So when it got to me, all rules really went out the broken. window. Yeah. Like, I was really allowed to do whatever I wanted. I could drink. I could smoke. I could have cigs. Not cigs, but I, if I asked, I actually remember one time I asked my mom. I was like, "Can I try it?" She was like, "Yeah, go ahead." Man, she smoked. Oh yeah, my mom still smokes to this day. My mom. What's her What's her brand? Um, Seneca. Seneca. Oh my no, god! This, the green. The yeah, the there, Seneca. It's, she's it's not good. Those are prison cigarettes. <laughs> no, she's, well, what? here's the thing, though. I will say this: if I showed you a picture of my mom, I don't think because you know when you think of a woman who's been smoking for as many years as <laughs> sure, she has, wears on. You're them. really wear picturing on. my mom is beautiful. Like you would see a picture of my mom and not think like that woman has been smoking for as long as she has. But Seneca's she has, no less. And I remember as a kid, I was in fourth grade, and my parents went to go get hypnotized. To not smoke anymore. Yeah, my and parents did that too. They went to go get hip- hypnotized, and they, they went to go that get hypnotized. That was big back in the day. It was day, very though. big. No, the Her- only time you should be getting hypnotized <laughs> is in front of a studio audience, and you think yeah. you're a chicken for a right. couple of minutes. No, no, no. Hypnotized, not smoke anymore. <laughs> it worked for my dad. My dad caught my mom. He was picking her up from work one day, and he caught her in the back of her job smoking a cigarette, and it was like the biggest fight ever because my dad was like. If I knew you were smoking this whole time, I would have been smoking this whole time. I've been missing out then, on all these things. And then they both started smoking again. And then... Just to spite each other. Yeah. And, That's love. I love that. And my mom has not quit to this day. My dad, he doesn't smoke cigarettes, but he has literally three jewels charging at, at once. You, he, I remember yeah. that. You said he your dad's jewel. jewels. It's, the jewel is hanging from his mouth. He talks and he says something. I'm like, Dad, I can't hear you. And my mom's like, we can't hear you with that stupid thing in your mouth. And he's like... What? It doesn't affect anything. And he's just, he can't stop oh, with it. Man. Big I, who jewels. I actually hated the fact that they smoked cigarettes growing up because my stuff would always smell like cigarettes. Like sure. I went to, when I was in high school, my music class. I, For a girl, that's a tough I, it's look. It's tough. Too. And it, I remember my music teacher one day. We weren't allowed to leave the school for mm-hmm. lunch or anything like that. Some people could do that. We weren't allowed to do that. So you can't even. Who wasn't allowed to do that? 
my entire school. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's yeah. I don't. I think Who that only really happens in like I don't know public TV shows, like and Disney shows, shows and yeah, stuff I guess. like that. Yeah. But we weren't allowed to like step outside. So my teacher one day like confronted the whole class and was like, somebody <laughs> is going outside <laughs> before this class and smoking cigarettes. And he walked over to my area and I was so embarrassed. Did you know it was you at that I time? Knew, I knew yeah. in my head, I was like, it's absolutely me because I am going nah, home. dude, my mom rips Bernie's. I literally would scream my head off at my mom every day. Like my stuff smells like cigarettes. I smell like cigarettes. So I knew it was me and it was so embarrassing. Now I'm glad they did. Because I'm not the person out that gets mad when other when, people are yeah, smoking cigarettes. Because yeah. now you you'll hang out with people and somebody will like get a pack of cigarettes or somebody will be smoking and then you'll see a few people be like, "Ew, like you're smoking yeah. a cigarette." Fucking I don't, not I don't, anybody we hang out yeah, with. Yeah. No, <laughs> we I, hang out with dirtbags. Yeah, I don't want to be that person. So that now I'm like, all right, whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's good though. That that's good to have. You know, you you have a you know uh, what is it like an antibodies built up against it. You can just <laughs> yes. hang with it. An empathy for yeah. It. Exactly. Smelling like cigs as a kid is tough. Real tough. It's tough. Because I, I used to, I'd put my clothes in my wrestling bag and then go to school. And then by the time I pulled them out, it was like somebody, like my mom had smoked in my bag. Yes. And yeah. walking around school it, with that. It's terrible. Hmm. That's tough. Yep. Trash. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is a garbage. Were you a Coke or Pepsi family growing up? Coke. Okay. That's the right answer. With dinner? Uh, yes. Religiously. Really? I used to drink so much soda to the point I went to the hospital in high school. I had a kidney infection from the amount of soda I drank. What? They told me that I couldn't drink soda anymore. And then I had headaches like every day after that. I just like, oh, my head hurts all the time. My mom, my mom was like, I have a little bit of soda. I bet it fixes it. Drank the soda, immediately felt better. better. I was literally having withdrawal headaches from not having soda. God damn. Because they kept stacks and stacks of soda in my yeah, house. That was Orange dude, soda, yeah. Coke. Love it. Also, how would an old school mom take a nip of this? You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Take a shot of Coke Zero. Like when I would wake up in the middle of the night and you're really thirsty and you get water, I would crack open a Coke. <laughs> a screamer out of the fridge. Man, oh. there's so a bite good. to that. There's, there's nothing there's, better. There's the bubbles there kick a little bit. I like no, the burn. Yeah, yeah, I love the there's burn. There's no better feeling than like a nice cold soda going oh. down your throat. Mm. It's unbelievable. It's, yeah. They it's, really, I don't know if the guy that invented Coke knew what he was doing. But man, they had the fucking winner right there. <laughs> yeah. Like, talk I mean, about there was literally score. coke in it. Yeah, there was coke in so it. So it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. We missed out. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> have to add our own. Uh, huh? What do you got, big man? What do I got? Uh, favorite salad dressing? It's ranch. No, it's not. Caesar. Balsamic vinegar. Ooh, That's a fucking crazy damn. At that. I was not expecting. Really? I was balsamic. a creamy Italian something. Yeah. <laughs> no, balsamic, balsamic vinegar. That's Look like class. a Thousand Island kid to me. I don't know. <laughs> That's as classy as it gets. Really? I it think balsamic? so. Balsamic? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, I love balsamic. Yeah. Man. Mm. Okay. Uh, and was the Benz your first car or what was your first car? Well, the Benz was my personal your personal first car. Yeah. But Can we like, take a second here real quick? Just bought a fucking Benz. I'm proper. leasing it. I'm leasing it. Doesn't matter. So, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, and was, that's the smart way to go. It was you a big moment. It. You know, my mom like started hysterical crying in the Mercedes Benz <laughs> place, and she said, "I just never thought someone in our family would be able to get a Benz." Oh my and I was God. like, "Shut Holy up right shit. now!" I was like, "I want gonna, to return it." I'm gonna cry, dude. That's so. We Holy weren't poor. Shit. Like that's the thing, though. We weren't poor. The first car I remember, though, they had a Pathfinder, so a Nissan Pathfinder, mm-hmm. Not bad. and then we had a Rav Four. Bad. Yep. <laughs> now rap that, fours are a yeah. tough look. And I, tough there's a Kanye look. line. It's like, what do you think I the rap for to push, push, push your fucking rap for? Yeah. And as a kid, I was like, God damn. Yeah, you're, you're pulling driving up the, the yeah. rap for. Who drove that? Your mom or your dad? My mom. My dad had a uh, Nissan Sentra for a while. Not okay. Like Abby. the little car because he just would drive it into the city. So mm-hmm. he just wanted a little thing. Right. And then, Something to zip around in. Yeah. And now they have a Nissan Murano, which is still kind of like they just live in the Nissan family. I have no yeah. idea. So yeah. that's why my mom was crying about I the didn't Mercedes. Think we would ever have a Mercedes. <laughs> no, Benz. no, they're like it was crazy. I was like, you have to stop crying. This is making me uncomfortable. That's fantastic. Did you let your mom rip Bernies in the Benz? Absolutely not. Yeah, no nope. way. No smoking in the car. So they used to smoke in the car all the time, mm-hmm. and then this new one that they got, my dad was like, "You really cannot." And we actually talked about it when we went to go pick up my car. My dad was like, "No smoking in the car, Ria. Like, no, no weed, no cigarettes. Don't smoke in the car. You don't want to do that to your car." And my mom was like. 
yeah, he doesn't let me smoke in our car. I was like, rightfully so. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 especially if it's a lease. Did they go with you to get the car? Like, did your dad go in and work the guy over a little bit? Actually, my sister came with me. Really? Yes. Man, look at Because my dad wasn't too thrilled about this. Like, he was just like, why must you We're get a, a Mercedes? We're a Nissan family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are it's you doing? It's a perfectly good RAV4 <laughs> sitting in the driveway. <laughs> Literally, he was like, he's like, why, why such a luxury car? I was like, well, I can afford that. I don't really buy a lot of other things. I don't treat myself really sure. ever. So, like, I just want to get this. And he's like, fine, whatever. Go ahead. Is Take that your, your sister. That's the first big person. Is that your first? Because we always ask people, successful people, what was your first big that split? That has this to be it. it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love it too, Treat man. yourself, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. That's, That's fucking you. fantastic. I just got a Kia. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sick. Lease. Pretty sick. Pretty <laughs> sick. Sweet. <laughs> I got a Jeep Latitude parked outside. <laughs> That's in your parents' name. It's in my parents' name. Did you get an easy pass? Uh, I take my parents. Oh, keeping the trash. Yeah. yeah. I use yeah. my parents' easy pass, too. Send they're, that they're right to the like home office. She's 23. Them. You're 45. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. I, I got a good say, support what system. Huh? What do you mean your, your mm, car is in your parents' name? My car yeah. is in my parents' name. So it'd be Why? weird if the easy pass wasn't in. Because like, I'm a loser. <laughs> 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 I got to put this together. You got to build that credit. <laughs> Credit's actually up. Ooh, there's an interesting thing. Here we go. This you is, have credit cards? I only have one credit card. And what's the limit on it? Not high. Hit it's, us. it's higher than ours. So you're, yeah, you're, you're trust me. A thousand? Really? Because I wow. never I literally never use it. Sure. I only use my debit card, yeah. so it does not move. Mine was at five hundred up until about three days ago when they just juiced me up. Oh, so around we're around the same Mine's we're currently right the same thing. Two hundred. I just got denied. I got denied. I tried to open $200? one. $200? Yeah, you're talking to bozos here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We just started making money. $200? Yeah. I, tried, <laughs> I tried to open one with Chase for the company. So, like, this is a, the company. And I got denied this morning trying to open one in the company's name. Mm, that is yeah. unreal. Oh, that's not good. That's <laughs> yeah, not we're fucking sign. dirt balls. <laughs> That's patreon.com. Patreon. Slash R -E Those R numbers are cooking, though. We're a cash business. Yeah. I don't know if you've been over to patreon.com. Right. We're doing Just wait right. one year, you guys. That limit's going to. Yeah. It yeah. just got increased like two days ago. I already maxed it out, though. <laughs> Burger that King. That 1,000 a month's a lot different than 500. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, hmm. Just one card. Capital One? What do you got? No, it's a JetBlue card. Ooh. Because. I like, well, here's the thing. I actually used to like flying JetBlue. Mm -hmm. I've really switched to Delta, in my opinion. Hmm. Really? JetBlue was good. They've really started cutting some corners and making some, uh, they, they've made some changes. Yeah, and Delta is really winning people over with their TV selection. I'm not going to lie. And by that winning TV's people, all right, over, I'm man. saying me. Yeah. It's that great. TV's all right. I like yeah. when there's no one next to you. Then you could put the, the flight tracker on. Mm. I feel like you're in a little command center. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. We flew to Hawaii last time. Me and my girlfriend had a, had a whole row. I had like five TVs going. I was ordering snacks for people that weren't there. <laughs> yeah, he's in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom. He wants the cookies. cookies. How are you going to Hawaii, but your credit card limit is $500? We're cash business. <laughs> yeah. We're a cash business. Cash I was never, business. I was, I never really had any credit either. I didn't have a bank account up until <sighs> two, not too long ago. Yeah. To wow. keep up appearances. Yes. You guys are making me feel good. Yeah, you yeah, should feel you're good. You're doing it. great. You're also, she's it. 23. So, I mean, that's she, good. That, that's what I'm saying. She's yeah. making us look like fucking oh, assholes. Oh, yeah. You buy Even and if sell we were us. 23, we would still look like assholes. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's got a Benz. I got a Kia. Yeah, we stink if you if didn't say that on the door when you walked yeah. in. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I don't think my credit will ever be good. Whatever. Side note, but continue. Yeah. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Have you ever flown private? No. You haven't been on the. What? Ooh. I know. It's honestly kind of disgraceful that fucking all these people at the company get on private jets, and I haven't been on one. What is the criteria over there? You got to be going, doing something for Barstool, right? It, I, I think it's whenever you're doing something with Dave. Dave like, puts if, you on, yeah. yeah, because if you're doing something for Barstool that has nothing to do with Dave, they're just going to book you a regular ass they're flight. Gonna, yeah, like, okay. They're not going to put you on a private jet. It's when it has to do with they Dave. They book your coach, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. When it's with Dave, then I think that's yeah, when the he's, private jets he's are not involved. He's not flying. No. Much, of course. Yeah, that guy rolls heavy. Yeah. And then when you book your own tickets, do you book coach or first class? I do not book first class, but with Delta, I do um, Delta the, Comfort. Yeah. We got Delta Comfort tomorrow. Really? Oh, you do? No that's awesome. Way. No, wait. I lied. We have it on the way back from Cleveland. Ah, ah. On the way back. It was but it's good. awesome. You guys are going to have a great time at Delta Comfort. Wait yeah. a minute. Delta Comfort. The seats are a little thicker, right? No, no. There, no. There's more space. No, no. Get this. They now... <laughs> The the they got the 
thing for your feet, uh, the recline for your feet. So you, because you know how annoying it is on the airplane that you can recline your back, but with your feet, your feet are just on the floor. Yeah, yeah now, I mean, they're like a gorilla. Imagine yeah. sitting next to me. It's brutal. I have. It's not and, fun. And now you could put your feet up. That's pretty Look nice. at that. Yep. I, TV? TV. All We're right. doing all right. Look at that. I got Delta hey, Comfort money to get us on the way back from Cleveland. That's pretty good. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Um, if you go out to eat as a family, do does your family stack the plates when they're done with them to make it easier for the server? No. Yes. Do you think that's trashy? It's not classy. <laughs> I just not. think it's like, why? Yes. To make it easy for the server. I guess it is making it easier for the server, but isn't it also their job? Yes. And mm-hmm. I'll listen, I'll agree. Showing I, a little signs of class over no, here. I, I know. Mean, that no, bench right. is going no. right to your head. <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not you're not wrong. Also, I think it depends on the caliber of place of the dining <laughs> establishment. If you're at a if you're at a middle of the road decent place, they're Johnny on the they got the they got the bus boy, they got people coming by, they True. see that you're done. Like an Applebee's, they, they're just like Yeah, at an Applebee's you're stacking plates to make <laughs> yeah. other room because you're waiting, you're You have all the apps, you gotta make room for that. What was the last place you and your family went out to eat together as a family? Do you remember? Oh my god. I n- no. I honestly don't even remember. Mm, we used to go to Chili's all the time oh, though growing up. There we go. All right. Now, we're, now like, we're back. I can't I yeah. I can't the remember the last time so we far. all like I feel like the last time we all went out to eat together as a family, we were probably in Florida or something. <laughs> but why? Why the laughter, Florida? <laughs> Just a trash yeah. place. Yeah. I you weren't in the Florida. south of France. Yeah. Sue me. I love Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. West Palm Beach. It's, yeah, it's nice. It's Is that great, where you got? Where would you guys go go on vacation? Go on it because you you had just said before we started recording that you had never been to the Jersey Shore before. Yeah, we would go to Florida a lot. Yeah, because wow. we have family there, so oh, okay. we always went there. My grandparents lived there. And now we have their house there. So like my nice when my grandma died. The house then went under like my mom and her sister's name. So okay. now I tell everyone that I have a house I'm in Florida, but really like my my <laughs> nano still lives there. Yes, nano, yeah, grandpa, yeah, 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 yeah. whatever. Um, but we're, we would go on vacation. Well, you say in Florida. we have a house in Florida. You're yeah, like, like, oh, we I'm, have I'm a- like we have a house in Florida. Yeah, that's trashy. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I do like, it too. Yeah, because I was asking my parents, how do I go about this? I'm like. You know, it's under mom's name, so technically it it's, is it's our, our house. Family's house. And what they do you mean? Spend, like, how do I explain it to people? Yeah, like when I say that it's I have a house in Florida, like, do I say it's my nano's house or do I say it's it's my house? My dad goes, just say, just say it's your house. Nobody has to know. Yeah. And now I'm telling everyone like yeah. the full detailed <laughs> explanation of it. Doesn't it. matter. I love it. I like your dad, man. Yeah. <laughs> just say oh. it. they'll never know. If they ask the second question, keep it fucking moving. Who asked you about the house? <laughs> <laughs> The amount of questions that my, so I actually didn't live at home for the past, I don't know, four years, maybe three years. Like I lived with a roommate and then I lived with my boyfriend, but we broke up recently. So sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. No, it's okay. Good to hear that. I don't know what way it goes. Either way. Either way. I'm now living at home again. So oh, I'm really oh, getting like the move everything's home. coming, but I'm loving it because I have a newfound appreciation to just laugh at them. Like oh, I think you've been grow- removed. Yes, I've yeah. been removed. Whereas everybody else has not been. Like my sister and my brother, who are older than I am, my sister's married, still lives in the house with her husband there as well. My brother lives there with his girlfriend as well. And my mom and dad live there and my nano's there right now. So it's all of them in the house. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, wait, yeah, hold we gotta on, we gotta unpack on. that back, a little back bit. Back this up a little bit. The How house we, that you grew up in. The house I grew up in. Your older brother and older sister now what? live in that house. What's they still that? live there. How many bedrooms is it? Um, there's not enough. I'm guessing. <laughs> no, no, no. There, there is one, two, three. There's four upstairs. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. One. Oh no. There's a downstairs there's bedroom. Four. No. And then the, so we had a really big basement that my parents turned into an apartment, half of it. So half's a basement, half's an apartment. Pretty and, good. uh, for Can I ask like, a question? yeah, who was the apartment built for? My cousin. Of course. Yes. That's never a but good then look. They, yeah. Wait, why? They just, I guess, needed a place to live. Were and they gonna? They, were they gonna rent from? They, your... they like actually paid, paid rent. rent. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's... So in in our world, that's what's known as a tough look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's bad <laughs> for for both parties. For everybody involved, <laughs> all part, all parties involved, except for you. You can hop in the bench and get out of there. Yeah. Jesus. You gotta get back. The in cousin the city. does not live there anymore, obviously, because my sister and her husband now 
are staying in there. They just got married last year. Okay. So they live down there. Uh huh. And then my brother still lives at home, and his girlfriend basically lives there as right. well. Mm. And they're in his room, and then I have my room. My nano's staying in my sister's old room that's upstairs, and then obviously my parents yeah, are in their room. Wow. Now, who, who's the oldest? Your sister? My or... sister's the oldest. Sister's She's the oldest. 29. She's 29. She just got married. Yes. Okay. And they, they moved in with you guys. They didn't move, and they've nev- never left. Oh, really? Like, my sister and my brother have never left. I have left twice. Like, Come back? Yeah, because I, I lived in the city when I went to college in the city for that mm-hmm. short amount of time. Came back, then moved into the city mm-hmm. for a while. You are the breadwinner in the family. Oh, I am. <laughs> also, I, I, in a I, couple I, years, you're going to own that house and they're all going to be living there. I could easily live in the city now. <laughs> sure. I just am like, well, I might as well just, for the summer, yeah. being on Long Island, yeah, plus I'm it's like, fun. And, all those, yeah. All those and then I come home around. and I am filled with entertainment. I haven't oh, yeah. watched, I used to watch so much TV. I haven't watched TV like I used to because I just come home and we sit around the table and the shit that flies out of all of their mouths. That's so funny. I wish I could record, but I can't. Yeah, like, yeah, of course. Like, it yeah. would, it would, Especially on Long Island. Yes, it would be dangerous, <laughs> but they are out of their minds. But now I used to get very mad at it, and now I love it. I think it's the funniest thing. Yeah, like, well, when you laugh leave at them. and then come back and you're removed from that reality. Yes. It's like going back. You're like, oh, they're cartoon characters. This is yeah. insane. They have never seen anything but Long Island. Like oh, to them, like it. that's basically just how they act. Like so they funny. are so far removed from reality, but it's hilarious. I also, your brother and sister are sitting there like, why the fuck would we ever leave? She leaves and keeps coming back. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's, there's nothing for us out there. I'll be honest with you. If it, I, I would, if I was, I would move in with my parents and stay there forever. Like that's how much I like hanging mm-hmm. out with them. And I, I, I like that vibe. I get it. I'd be, I'd I be mentioned there the other day to my uh, family, I was like, I think like, or sometime in the fall, I think is when I'm going to start looking for apartments again. My sister didn't talk to me the rest of the day. Why? Because they don't want you to leave? No. Literally yeah. didn't speak to me the rest of the day. And then texted me like two paragraphs being like, I really think it's a bad idea for you to move back to the city. Like you really should stay home and save money. Like this, that, the other thing. I'm like, I don't need to do that though. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, can, yeah. I could move out. And it will be fine. I'll be okay. She'd she, she miss you. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, they all want you there. Mm-hmm. It's fun when everybody's in the house. Yeah. Do you guys do a big Sunday dinner? So my mom makes pasta and meatballs every Sunday. Really? Yes. Yes, she Probably does. knocks her out of the park. Oh, huh? they're really good. Obviously, Man. I'm like, my mom makes the sure. best meatballs. Nah. This actually passed... Uh, weekend obviously was italy versus england yeah the final and we had like a major italian day like my mom made sausage and peppers pasta meatballs Mm. pasta salad we had all the desserts the rainbow cookies all the family members were over that's all right yeah yeah damn all right you have to invite the cousins they were already there (laughs) yeah they were downstairs (laughs) uh they literally live down the block so yeah um (laughs) this is one that we've done uh, I haven't done in a while. Do you have any aunts or uncles who don't use their real name, such as like an uncle, you know, or like Gigi, or, yeah, or an aunt, or an aunt Tootie, Tootie. No, no. Okay. Uh what about nicknames in the an house? An uncle Ray Ray or Cookie. Something? Oh yeah, Co- and what aunt Cookie? Aunt Cookie. Yeah, you got an aunt Cookie. Uh, yeah, that would count. Yeah, but here's the thing. I, I don't have think that's a government an, name. I have an you. aunt Cookie, but like. We're not so close that I don't even want to dive into. Okay, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not like that, but I'm just like, sure. if Aunt Cookie finds out I was talking about on this podcast, she's going to call my dad and be like, why the fuck is my name being brought up? On this? I hear she's in a city running him out again. <laughs> it's me, Cookie. Call me back. Literally. Yeah, yeah. I heard she's moving out and leaving a family. <laughs> Has anyone in your family ever said, you think you're better than me? Oh, my. my okay, so I can talk me? about my Aunt Holy Debbie. Shit. Shout out to Aunt I can Debbie. talk about my Aunt Debbie because my Aunt Debbie lives down the block from us and... Holy shit, you do not want to be on her bad side. She threatened my life a couple months ago. <laughs> months ago. A couple, couple months, ago. months ago. I don't I, care who can you I tell you, for. I don't even remember what I did. I don't know what I did. Yeah, it's never I, big. I may have like maybe you became like, successful. That's what you did. I, I maybe I didn't respond to like an invitation to something or I didn't go to something or whatever. She literally said to my dad, does she know who I am? Uh, <laughs> and my I'm Debbie. My my dad told me this, and I was like, what? I was like, do I have to fear for my life right now from Aunt Debbie's telling me, do you know who I am? Yikes. I'm a little scared. Do you know what I Wait till Dad finds out you got a Benz. She ain't going to be happy about that. She came over to see the Benz, though. She was happy about the Benz. 
Ah. She's happy about the Benz. All right. You got to stay on Aunt Debbie's good side, though, because yeah, she will I don't like kick that. your ass. Whose sister is it? My dad's. Your dad's sister. My dad has four sisters, three sisters. Had she a lot older than you, like aunt age? No, I wouldn't say too much older in her 50s. Okay. All right. Yeah. She's in her 50s and she's still threatening her 23 year old, 24 year old niece. That's great. Wait, Does Maria. she know who I am? That's great. Literally, does she know what I can do? What? Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Real Long Island. And, and start my the car parents the were like, you have to apologize. I said, what the fuck am I apologizing for? <laughs> Doesn't matter. They're like, you just have to. That's it. You got to get Deb happy again. Yep. Holy shit. R- Rhea Deb's coming over for a sit down. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> hmm. Parents ever leave you anywhere as a kid? Mm, yeah, in the my sister's dance recital, they left me in the car. They just kept walking. I was in the like car a seat. Car seat. They just left me in there. Wow. Ballpark? How long? Whole recital? No, not the whole. Re- they turn around within like five minutes. But okay. it was I was left. Where the in hell there. did that baby go? <laughs> you know, actually, in in high school, I remember I had like a not a hammock, but like a swing in my backyard. And I was going through a time and I took my iPad and I went out onto that swing and I started just binge watching Entourage. Like I just was like, I'm just going to watch this show. And I was watching it for like a weekend straight. Like I just didn't get up from, from this swing. My parents locked all the doors in the house and I like heard them yelling on the inside. And then my sister opened up the door and they were like, there she is. And they had just never looked outside to see if I was there. My dad apparently was yelling that I snuck out. They didn't, I didn't get a text from them or anything. They just jumped to conclusions, didn't look outside, no text, nothing. They were like, she snuck out. They locked all the doors. I was just in the backyard. Jesus Man, Christ. Yeah. I love it. You got a short fuse over there. <laughs> oh, there is. They're fucking nuts. Hotheads. I, I used it. to be a major, like, major hothead, like, a- anger. Yeah, I mean, major. But now I'm much better. But like, I mean, not. I I literally threw a chair across my backyard the other day. Nice. <laughs> you guys. So you guys would have good proper screaming matches, multiple times a week. Yeah. One time I. That's we were we were sitting right at there. dinner, and I remember we, we were eating penny alla vodka, which is my favorite dish, and oh me my and my God. sister got into a fight, and I just went like this, like dead armed her, and then I just went back to eating my food, and my sister screamed her head off her and my mom started like physically fighting with each other like had to be held back aunt deb was there actually of holding deb one of them back. and i just sat there and continued eating my food and they tell this story to this day because they were like that is one of the most psycho things you've ever done is <laughs> just hit someone and yeah. then just continue eating oh that's fucking good stuff. i mean long island italian you're 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 going to have some issues for yeah. sure. Those are the things that as i get older like you know like sometimes you're like not wake up in the middle of the night but you look back and you're like oh my god i could have hurt them like, I look at, like, oh, yeah. fights me and my brother got. Yeah. Like, you know, I remember one time I threw a lighter at him, like, fucking fired it at him, and it hit him right here. And, like, if I would have hit him, like, two inches up, mm-hmm. it would have blinded him or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, I'll never do that again. And then yeah. you do it the yeah, next like week. Yeah, like, two weeks later, yeah. yeah Piece of fucking, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's see. Do you know what kind of cologne your dad wears? I know what it looks like. What's it look like? It's like a body. No. Bod. Is it green? No, it's like blue and um Does he wear a striped shirt, the guy? Yes. It's stripes oh, it's and it's like Jean a Jean Paul Gaultier. That doesn't sound accurate. Google it. <laughs> Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mail, I think it's called. Yeah, he's he's fucking dead on. Yeah. Can I see it? Can I make sure? Can I double check? Uh I got it. Yeah, yeah. Um I can send you the link. Yes, right yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's trash. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 73 was, bucks. It blew me. And you was, know, we used to go to... Um, How old is your dad? My dad is 53, maybe? So he's nine years older than me. Yeah, that's crazy. We were rocking the same stuff. That's how I know. Oh, you're wearing it? No, but I usually did when I was younger. Really? Yeah. That was a game changer right there. Oh, that's that nuts. You're out. closer to her dad. Way closer to her oh, dad. Oh, yeah. Than- Hundred percent. You're twenty two years older than her. Twenty two years older. Same My parents are like young parents, so yeah, I would they're say. young parents. Yeah, I would be a young parent if you were a parent. If I would have kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if anybody would fuck you. <laughs> now you would just be an old parent. Yeah. Oh man, sorry. I'm dreading that now. <laughs> You're not even gonna be like a young spry. <laughs> no, just no. Old let's old say, let's fuck. say conservatively, yeah, be an old fat dad. <laughs> <laughs> My new sitcom, Old Fat Dad. <laughs> Welcome back to Old Fat Dad. Uh, oh. I think about that. So 
My brother was a little older when he had kids, but he's kind of evened it out. Now I'd be I'd be like 50 bringing kids to like soccer practice. That's a tough. Look. That's if you started now. Yeah, if I started now. Which you're not. Yeah. No. So I'm we not. need to add like five years to that. So you'll be like 50 bringing them into the world. I yeah. think what I'll have to do, I should have, I'll adopt like 16 year olds. That'll be my move. I get you for two Perfect. years and yeah, you're on your that's own. It. There you yeah. go. Anybody asks, he has been living with his yeah. mother. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, any male members in your family have a ponytail? Uncle, cousins? No. No. Okay. No. Do any members of your extended family DJ at brunch? Are there any brunch DJs or in your wedding. family? There's no brunch DJs, but... Is there a couple DJs? There, I'll say this. There have been two male DJs that were not in my... Like, like a boyfriend okay. and like a husband. Okay. A so secondary, not, yes, yeah. not my family. They okay. have married into the family, but now divorced out. Nice. Yeah, the DJ good. using the last album. Yeah, yeah got to get the DJ out of the family. Yeah, they can't. I remember I showed up to my eighth grade dance, and one of them was the oh. DJ. Oh. That's a tough, tough. man. It was it was fucking tough. Ouch. It was my cousin's boyfriend. It was tough. Ouch. Yeah. Randy. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually DJ Excellent. Okay. <laughs> it's like, you don't know the me. gymnasium. <laughs> Shut up. Damn. <laughs> when was the last time you had lobster? Never with my family. Wow. Really? Probably on my own time. Yeah. <laughs> my own time. <laughs> my own time. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like lobster, uh, rav- lobster ravioli. ravioli. Okay. Yeah, lobster, lobster ravioli. ravioli is big. Lobster mac and cheese is yeah. real. It's real big with the trash circuit. Yeah, too. like yeah. I when I see that on the menu. Oh yeah, it. it's got a little truffle yeah. oil and right. some some so breadcrumbs. Actually, I'll tell you, the last time I had lobster was with Fran's family. Fran, my co-host. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Her family. I had lobster at their house. At their house. They are the quite the opposite of trash. Oh, like that's not, so much in the other direction. Yeah, yeah we had. We doing lobsters there. at home. Yeah. Probably a Saturday oh, afternoon. Yeah. No, something we nice. we were at their house in Florida for New Year's Eve, and they were wow. making lobsters. And stuff. Ooh, yeah, that's classy. That's pretty classy. Yep. Um, quail eggs. Never. Never. Okay. How do you feel about the pizza burger? No. Hawaiian pizza. Hated growing up, never tried it growing up. I uh-huh. just I just would be like, uh, pineapple doesn't belong on yeah. pizza sure. because I just heard that. Sure. Love it though. Yeah. Love you know. it. Mm. Tastes so fucking good. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> there you go. I really do. What would you consider to be your favorite snack? Mm, my favorite snack. I would imagine. So some- there's a there's a lot of avenues with this because sure. when I have something salty, I need something sweet. And then I, when I have something sweet, I need something salty after. So Interesting. it's like a okay. lot. I like salt and vinegar chips. Nice. And I like Reese's. Okay. So and salt and vinegar chips and Reese's peanut butter cups together? Like I'll have the salt and vinegar chips and then I'll have the Reese's and I'll go back to salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> Let's get garbage. Yeah. Man. And I, I like I like ice cream. I really Shout like out. ice cream. Yeah. I'm so, with you. <laughs> I don't know. That's Can such you wrap a your like. Mind around that fully? <laughs> I think that I think that would be my my go to. Like if I just want a, a snack. Okay, yeah. hmm. I like it. Uh, growing up, did your family drink Tang? What is Tang? Okay, yeah, she'd be too young for that. I think. Oh really? Your family would be too young for that. It was into the nineties though. I thought. Okay. Powder. What was the what was the what was the preferred beverage at the house? Not soda, but like if your mom would make juice or something iced like that. Iced tea or something. Iced tea. Like it would be iced tea. Iced tea. Powdered ice Powdered tea, ice tea with, do a, with it a container. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Would she leave the spoon in there? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> the wooden spoon? Yeah. yeah. It's trash, mm. but it makes it so good. It's Get, so good. Give it a quick whip yeah. before you pour it. It was always the most garbage households always had the best iced tea. I don't know why. And you know the fights that would be caused when the iced tea was put back into the fridge and it wasn't filled back up? Oh, my yeah. dad oh. would be so <laughs> livid at my mom. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, in other words, you picked up the, if it was like a colored thing and you couldn't see in it, and you picked it up and it was like empty, oh, and you're like, "Mother, fucking lose it." These goddamn kids. Any injuries sustained as a kid? <laughs> this is a weird story, but when I was younger, I was three years old. My sister, obviously older than I was, we were playing house, and I was the mom, and she was the kid. And I was going to work, and she didn't want me to go to work. 
So she pulled it's a complicated up. story. Line. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who wrote that? Aaron we were Sorkin? late on the bills. And, <laughs> and I was picking up double shifts. It was a whole I had thing. just gotten back from Vietnam. And <laughs> Jesus. She pulled my arm so hard. She pulled it out of its socket. Oh. So my dad rushed me to the hospital. And they said to him, you know, you really shouldn't be swinging your daughter around. And my dad was like, I wasn't swinging her around. They were playing house. She was going to work. Her sister didn't want to go to work. And they, they were late on the mortgage payment, you understand? <laughs> they didn't believe him for a second. They literally thought that my dad Aww. like swung me around and like pulled my arm out of its socket. I remember that happened to kids. The the, the, the collarbone and like or like an arm yeah. dislocation. I had as a, a little disease kid. as a kid. I had a disease growing up called HSP. A very rare disease. Okay. If you look it up. Not it's not like here's the thing. It was very hard for them to diagnose. Apparently, this is just hearsay because I don't really... I remember very little details about this. Like, I remember not being able to walk, like, all these little things. And Damn. We have home videos of me with, like... I had just bruises all over my body from top to bottom. Like, couldn't walk. So, they have, like, home videos of this. And they didn't know what it was. They thought it was leukemia. So, my parents, like, thought that I was, like, gonna Aww. die as a little kid. I would have night terrors. My my siblings talk about it all the time. They're like, you were terrifying to be around. Yeah, Jeez. night terrors mm-hmm. as a kid? I had night terrors. I would scream my head off in the middle of the night. Oh, I had that's this disease. Insane. It was crazy. I'd put yeah. you in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> put you down in mm-hmm. the basement apartment mm-hmm. at least. It was nuts, but they couldn't. So it, it it's not supposed to last as long as it did. But, but it the went doctors treat, couldn't yeah. figure out what the fuck I had. So it just went on for like a year. Damn. I was in the hospital like every week. Jesus. Yeah. Dude, the the other name for HSP is spring fever, which sounds like a party you would go to in college. Yeah, yeah. or something like like you get on the Oregon Trail yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yep. Rhea got the spring fever. It Gonna have to leave her behind. Oh, damn. Hmm. Uh, I have a question. Now that you have the car, you'll be putting gas in it, I assume. Yeah. What will you be putting in it? Regular? They told me premium. Did they? Yeah, they you said you got a premium, premium only car. I know. I didn't think too far into that. When he was like, oh, it's premium gas. I was like, oh, okay. I already signed the lease. Yeah, it's just like you're pulling away. Nothing I can do about that. What's the series on the... on the, on the Oh, the... it's an A-class. Kippy, is that checkout? Is that... A220. Do you have a fucking key? I don't know. What <laughs> it's not... It's, it's like one of the most basic yeah. Mercedes you can get, but it's fucking sick, I will say. Like, the inside lights up LED lights at night, oh, so the whole so thing trash. is, like, purple. I love it. Or, like, I, love it. I could put... There's 64 color options. Just will there be any aftermarket effects color. being put into this car? No. Did you get the windows tinted? No, but oh. every one of my family's telling me to do it. Yeah, yeah, of course they are. We gotta tint the windows. No, they're like, you gotta get the back ones tinted. I'm like, I don't I know want to. Yeah. Why? Why? What am I trying to hide? I don't uh, want them tinted. Sure. That's too funny. Uh, hmm. How old were, How old were you when you got your passport? So I got it when I was, I think, young because I went to the Bahamas. Yeah, we talked the about this. Stuff. I went to the Bahamas uh, okay. when I was like seven or eight. But I actually don't know if you needed a passport at that time when I went to the Bahamas. I don't think you did. I think but under then, a certain age, like if, as long yeah. as you just had your parents. But I definitely had them. it before eighth grade. It's good. Any guitars hanging on the wall at your house? In my brother's room, he's got a few guitars. Doesn't play them. Until he gets the chicks. Some. Doesn't play them. Doesn't play them. That's trash. Yeah. Hmm. That's trash. Have you ever seen your parents' French kiss in front of you? Yes. Really? Uh, I have. That's Jesus. something that gets burned into your brain. Oh, uh, unfor- I could I, yeah, it's, it's a quick answer. Yes, unfortunately. Ooh. They actually did it the other day as a joke. for Because really? they hate when we do it. They, they hate when, like, we, me and my sister freak out, obviously. We're like, yeah. no, no. So my dad will just, like, grab my mom and. You know. Give her a smooch. Yeah. That, and I remember I was going to ask if you've ever seen either one of your parents get thrown in a pool. That fucks you up as a kid, too. No, I, but that the visual of that makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, you I lose remember, all respect for a parent. <laughs> well, no, somebody threw my mom into the pool at, at a pool party, and I, I was like fucking seven years old, and I ran up and just started fucking punching him in the balls. Really? Yeah, he's fucking throwing my mom in a pool. Fucking lunatic, relax. Yeah. It's a pool party. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Dude. I don't like it. Unless man. it was in the middle of winter, I mean that's a that's a hardless, I hate when people throw people spring. into pools. Yeah, though. you don't nah. know what's in their fucking pockets. Yeah, if you throw someone into the pool, you're an asshole. Yeah, yeah now, asshole. but back in the day when I was, it was pre cell phone or like yeah, cell, not then, everybody had one. Right? Yeah. Nah, she was my only ride home. I ain't fucking around my mom. <laughs> how'd she get out? How'd that, how'd she look? How'd she look in a wet t-shirt? <laughs> Patty popping out. It's a tough look. Uh, when was the last time you had bagel bites? Oh, very recently. Probably oh, like last really? week. Really? Last week? Are they week? in the house? That's right. You're at home now. Yeah. Oh, what's mom? <laughs> how's your mom do at the grocery store? 
What kind of snacks are we talking? I'll tell you this. She's slacking because <laughs> really, we at, growing growing Let's up, go, Rosario. We, they get to a Rosario, point, they start losing it. And yes, one hundred percent. Her cooking's been off. The grocery shopping's been off. It, it's it's not what you it know. Used you just said that publicly, right? Oh, I know. We tell her every day at the house. My right. dad now is. We're both getting shot. My, yeah, great. My, no, my dad's Cut reminding that. her. No, my mom is an absolute fucking saint angel, like the best, per- nicest person on earth. I don't know how she deals with any of us. It's mm-hmm. insane. We just throw shots at her all day, and she just takes them. She's like, trash her cooking. Yeah. No, well, she just has really been slacking. She doesn't put as much love and effort into it as she used to. It happens yeah. as they get older. We talk but about it a, a kid, lot on the show. We had the best snacks growing up. Like, we had fruit roll-ups. We had nice. Gushers. We had nice. Chips Ahoy. We had nice. Oreos. For a while, we weren't allowed to have Oreos because my mom heard that Oreos stayed in your stomach for seven years. I don't know where she heard that. We weren't allowed to have oh, Oreos. That. She for heard that bit. at the hair salon. Dude, for that's, sure. so that's, that's some <laughs> Long Island I, I don't know where that came from. An Oreo tree will yeah. grow in your stomach. Every cereal you can imagine. Imagine we had the bagel bites, Sugar Elio's cereal? pizza. Yeah. Wow. We it was. You said they were fucking shotgun and Coke Zero. Oh yeah, at dinner. Cokes. I mean, well, cold cuts always. Cold cuts. Yeah. Wait, did you say Elio's pizza? Elio's. Yeah. Drash. That's my favorite frozen it's the pizza. Best. It's so. I good. mean, it's yeah. not good, it's, but it's no, it's good for the frozen pizza. Oh my god. Yeah. Would you guys do Domino's or Pizza Hut when you were a kid? No, well, I mean, like when I was drunk, yeah, Domino's, sure, but, but not like as a family. No, get as a family, we your get, parents like, got pizza. Would they get it from like Giuseppe's or something? Umberto's, like that. yeah, Umberto's. Umberto's. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like he knows his way around the pie. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Umberto's. <laughs> no, for real, big shout out to Umberto's. They have the best Sicilian pie that there is. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be our next Patreon goal: going to Umberto's and getting. I like that you mentioned Sicilian. Sicilian, that's pretty classy. I'm yeah. starting to become more of a Sicilian Sicilian's man. My my, if favorite. I have my choice, I'm gonna go for a Sicilian. Better. It's usually a better slice. The thicker. It's yeah, great. it's not bad, man. It has like that. And they age vibe. well as they sit a they little longer. They really do. They get a little better. Yep. Yeah. They really do. I think I have, I mean, I think I have all the information I need. I do have two. Do you have any other ones? And I got two from Patreon to do. Anybody, any referees or umpires in your family, local? No, but I mean, my dad coached like the baseball going, yeah. growing up. But did he, okay. Not umpire, though. Was but weren't you guys on the team that he coached? My brother was. Okay, fair enough. Yes. If your dad's just coaching no. and you're and no kids on the team, because I remember that one time I had a little league coach. I was like, "Which one's your son?" He's like, oh, "My son doesn't play." I'm like, "Get Sketch. the fuck out of here!" I don't even have sketchy. kids. Yeah, yo, ma, <laughs> call the commissioner. I want to trade. I'm not playing with this fucking creep. This kid doesn't play. What are you doing here? It's Saturday afternoon. Go spend time with your family. Oh. I know what he's doing there. Yeah, I mean, he's, fucking, he's scouting the talent. talent. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, checking me out in my short shorts yeah. at right field. Yeah. Uh, it's good stuff. Um, oh, I have one. Uh, anyone in your family interviewed on the local news ever? <laughs> no. Okay. But we, one of the auditions I did as a kid was for um, like an Optimum TV commercial, and they were like. Uh. They were like, can you bring one of the members in for your, from your family? And my dad came into the audition with me. It was like the best day of his life. We didn't get it, but it was like the best day ever. Dude, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's looking in the mirror. It's my big day. Literally. This is my big shot. It was. He was so nervous. It was hilarious <laughs> because all, so many years of him fucking... I'd go into the audition afterwards and I'd have to recite every single thing that happened in that audition. What did they say to you? Oh, is that really all they said? And then I'd have to recount it 500 times more. It's crazy. So when he got to go in there, I was like... So, what did yeah. they say to you? How'd it go? Just like really Fucking nailed in. it to him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only question I have, I mean, my decision's made up, obviously. <laughs> I mean, we're not. I was kind of, I mean, it was, I, I got to be honest, I was prejudiced before we started. <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest can here. I say, I, like, when I first started working at Barstool and everyone found out, I was like, not found out, they knew I was from Long Island, whatever, everyone would call me Long Island trash all the time. And it really would get to me. Like, I'd be like, in my head, I'd be like, I'm not, I'm not Long Island trash. Lately, I've just been like, I am yeah, Long Island own it. trash. You like, own that, it. like for the past year of my life, I've been like, you know what? I, I really fucking am. Like that's yeah, it, and it I'm is. proud of it. I, we're make, the same way. We're, make we no decided mistake. to own celebrate it. it. Yeah. yeah, celebrate. I think being tr- trashy is better. It's so 100%. much more fun. It's so much more fun. It's great. Yeah. Salt of the earth people. Hmm. Yes, right there. Uh, with that being said, I just have one final question. Uh, who is your mother's favorite artist? Prince. God damn. <laughs> right out of the textbook, huh? Yeah. Prince. Really? Thanks. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. I uh Long I, Island girl. 
Like, yeah, Fucking likes the nice love prince. prince. Loves yeah. Prince? Loves. That's so great. Uh, <laughs> I have two from the Patreon, so when you join the Patreon, we'll answer your garbage question on the air. This one is, uh, have you ever puked in a bar not in the bathroom? Yes. Yeah. Recently? Where? Not recently. Okay. But just like, like under the bar, like very secretly. Yeah. That's, really? That's a bad yeah. Look. Under the bar. Under the bar, very Fake secretly. Tire shoe or something. And then, well, damn. can I actually say that it, it maybe it was a little more recent than I'd like to admit. In the past couple of years, this couple came up to me and they were like, "Rio, we'd love to buy you a shot. We'd love to get you a tequila shot." And I was like, "Okay, I don't really." Love taking shots, but I'll mm-hmm. do it now. I like it, but a few years ago, I was like, "No, did it?" Literally, like puked up right under the table, and I was like, "I told you guys." Damn, it was right very embarrassing. Yeah. yeah, it was very embarrassing, but one of those things I had to own because I was like, "I told you guys, uh, yeah, this, this is your fault. Not going yeah. to go yeah, over yeah, well." Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And then this one's from Colin. Have you or a family member snuck your own alcohol on a plane so you don't have to buy it from the flight attendant? No. No. Yeah. Okay. That's the classy answer. You'll have a cocktail on the plane, though. Yes. Yeah. There you go. What's I have go to. to. I have to have beers before I fly. I like a little like white wine on the plane. Classy. You know, I do, pretty classy. Like white Sitting wine. Sitting in comfort with a white wine. I, I'll smoke before and then take the edge off a little white take wine. Take a little edible, maybe like half a Xanax. Love it. Jesus <laughs> Christ! What Doctor, the fuck? I fucking, didn't say that. Doctor, Just all feel for good. one flight. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're going to Cleveland. Relax. <laughs> Oh fucking, it's an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> that, see, that started out so classy. Yeah. Oh, what do you like in a plan? I like a little white wine after a Saraquil. Yeah, if you got any, if you got any blow. Yeah, you a know. little nebuterol. Blow's not my thing, but yeah. <laughs> you're not Weed, supposed to yeah. be that comfortable. Truth, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're really getting dealt to come from here. Oh, my God. Rhea, what, an, what a fantastic oh, episode. So much Thank fun. you much for sitting in with us. Um, anything you want the folks out there to know? You got coming up, et cetera, et cetera. Just follow Chicks in the Office everywhere, Instagram, Twitter, although not enough characters on Twitter, so it's Chicks in the Off. I'm Barstool Rhea on Twitter. And then Maria Chiffo on Instagram. That's C-I-U-F-F-O. I feel like I have to spell that out because <laughs> nobody would be able to find that. Yeah. There you go. Chiffo. I love it. Yes. Kippy, what do you got for him? Guys, as always, uh, at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Follow the Are You Garbage page on mm-hmm. Twitter and IG. It's just at Are You Garbage. And then, you know, iTunes, YouTube, and Patreon. Beautiful. And come out to a live show. We're going to be all over the fucking country. Going to be all over the place. Come and see us, gang. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.